here at Hard Labor Creek Quail Plantation right now in Chipley, Florida for the Brad Drake Wild Game Hunt. Uh, having a ball here with Andy Fleener from One South Bank. We'll be right back. Welcome back here at Hard Labor Creek Quail Plantation right here in the heart of Washington County in Chipley, Florida, here for the annual Washington County Chamber Quail Hunt. Um, actually, what's the actual uh, official title of the event, Andy? Drake, Brad Drake Wild Game Hunt. The Brad Drake Wild Game Hunt. Now, if you recall, uh, Brad Drake graciously stepped down, allowing Marty Coley to uh, serve her uh, last two years in that position. Uh, he uh, was a shoe in this uh, election, and he certainly didn't disappoint us. Here right now with Andy Fleener, Vice President of One South Bank. One South, Andy, a uh, huge part of the Washington County Chamber, part of the economic engine of Washington County, and one of the main sponsors out here uh, this weekend. You've said that this has been a banner year. Tell me why you say that. It's a great year and uh, lots of sponsors and uh, you can see from the check here we were able to raise $42,500. Yeah, I think I was just out of camera. So $42,000. Now, uh, in the past, obviously, Marty Coley has been the uh, local elected official who was associated with it. Now we've got Brad Drake coming here from uh, from Defuniac area, um, our, our uh, friend here in Northwest Florida, certainly. Uh, Don Brown was his mentor for many years. Uh, Don was our, uh, our representative. Brad Drake, just an all-around good guy. Now, has he been out here this weekend? He's been out here this weekend, and you know this event goes back 14 years, and uh, Brad's been a part of it with Don all the way back to the beginning, and uh, it's good to get Brad back, and uh, he was able to make a significant uh, impact on our event and increase the number of donors that we have and just making an all-around better hunt, and we're really thankful to have Brad Drake back as our representative. Now you've got a kiss from the weather too. It's actually a pretty nice day, a little bit chilly, but it's the kind of weather you probably want if you're gonna be out here in the woods. Uh, how much participation, how many uh, shooters did you have this year? I'm not sure exactly how many shooters, but um, yesterday we killed about 200 uh, pheasant, put out 200 pheasant and uh, probably about 250 quail and about the same today. So um, that's a lot of hunters to take that many birds. Yeah, now you, you treat these guys right. They get to eat several times. You, uh, uh, it's a party atmosphere. Obviously, they're here to, to shoot, to have some fun. Um, uh, you know, Ted Everett is a gracious host right here uh -huh. at the Quail Plantation. Ted, a longtime uh, uh, functionary within Washington County, a part of anything that goes on, uh, graciously opening up his plantation for this event. As you point out, 14 big years. Would, was this truly the largest year that you've had? It's one of the largest. It's been a long time since we've been able to raise this amount of money. And we have a lot of uh, uh, donators from the Tallahassee uh, area, but uh, we have a lot of local participation too. And we all do different things. At One South, we sponsor the pheasant hunt. King's Drugs uh, sponsored the pheasant hunt today. Uh, Community South Credit Union did the dinner last night. Uh, Metric Engineer sponsored the lunch yesterday. We have just a lot of participation from our community and we really help um, to raise this money. Half of the money goes towards the chamber and half goes for the Sure Shots, the 4-H group that uh, 
are the best shots around right now. Yeah, we hope to get a few words with Gary Clark before we get done here today. And uh, the Sure Shots, uh, you were involved with very heavily with that for a good while. I think that you kind of took a step back for a while. A little bit, and uh, Gary Clark is the main one with that, and uh, they've won the state six out of seven years or eight out, seven out of eight years, and they're just some amazing kids, and it's a great program. and. Um, safety's first with them and with us in this event and uh, uh, just a good all-around uh, uh, thing for your children to do and be involved in and learn hunter safety and gun safety. Yeah, we've had the fortune of being part of, uh, of those uh, functions. So come on out and did some interviews with uh, Holly Henson, uh, for instance, a young lady locally that's uh, just a, a real talent. Um, that program has turned out a lot of good kids. Um, not saying they would have gone a different direction, but why take the chance? They say if, you're, uh, if your kids are out, out hunting, then you're not going to have to be hunting your kids. Kids. That's exactly right, and uh, you know there's some good mentors that are out there, and they really you keep the kids involved in doing things, and uh, uh, they want to do the right thing when they're doing that. Now, One South Bank, uh, a very large part of the community, um, you guys are usually involved with every special event that happens. If there's a parade, if there's a festival, you guys are there. If you're not there, you've contributed in some way to make it happen. Um, relatively new organization, uh, one of the uh, first banks to be chartered after the bubble burst. Um, you guys at this point have a Texas rating of zero, the way I understand. Mm -hmm. You're very conservative, which if I'm a stockholder in your bank, I want you to be. Um, I think the days that we saw prior to the bubble bursting are gone. Uh, it seems like there's more regulation. From your point of view as Vice President of One South, what are you seeing in that direction? You know, in our community, the housing market has been really off the last few years, but we're seeing an uptick in housing starts, and uh, hopefully 2015 will be the best year that we've had in a while. And uh, our community, we need some growth, and we've got some really good things happening with um, new courthouse, new uh, elementary school. We're having um, 79 will be four-laned in just a couple of years, 77. It's uh, going to happen here in the next five years or so. And we really just have a lot of good things going on in Washington County, and it, it's a good time to be here or come here and do business with us. Yeah, I just had the opportunity to meet with Derwin White from GAC Contractors. They're actually building a new elementary school. They're also building the, uh, the new courthouse, uh, getting ready to start the uh, deconstruction or the demolition right. of the old courthouse. $9.2 million uh, Florida legislation gave, uh, gave us this time uh, just for the courthouse. That's huge for Washington County. It, and the job spinoff is seven times that. So uh, when you look at all the projects and how many, the multiplication factor that goes into that, um, I, hopefully it's going to help a lot of local people with jobs and be able to uh, better our community because of that. Yeah, Derwin, a uh, local guy uh, originally. As a matter of fact, he worked at uh, Piggly Wiggly, as most people uh, did in the, in the neighborhood, uh, most guys anyway, uh, packing groceries. Um, the economic impact to the area is huge when you start looking at those construction projects. But even at the worst of times, you've still got the Chamber and Economic Development Committee, the local businesses, the retail segment. Those are all working towards doing the best that they can under whatever circumstances we find ourselves. Uh, One South is a very lean and mean operation. Uh, you guys uh, don't have any fluff. I know that if I were a potential stockholder, that would mean a lot to me. Talk a little bit about that. Well, we are, um, believe it or not, we're not a new bank now. We uh, This is my will be my eighth year with the bank. Uh, we've only been open about seven of those years. It took us a year to get open, but uh, we've really grown uh, during that period of time. And, um, you know, we like to be involved in the, it shows our commitment to be involved in the community and uh, with all these events. And, uh, you know, we're not a Chipley Bank. We, we're uh, Holmes, Washington, and Jackson County. We do the uh, Tri-County area, and uh, we like to support all of our communities and the Chamber of Commerce here and in Bonifay and in Mariana. And uh, it's good to be a part of the community. And, and you know, when, when the community grows, we all grow. So um, uh, it, we have a lot of support from a lot of people we like to be a part of all of these events. You know, not too, uh, not too long ago, the facts were released that Washington County has more people moving out of it than any of the other 67 counties in Florida. Now, we live here because we want to live here. We, could, we moved away from the beach. We could have moved anywhere. We live here. We love living here. And despite some of the challenges, we have opportunities. And as a marketing company, we see opportunity uh, in the face of challenge. If it weren't for challenges, there weren't, wouldn't be those opportunities. If nothing else, right now there's a bunch of storefronts open in, in downtown Chipley. But rents are also very low. 
Yeah. The best time to start a business is during a downturn, uh, because if you can make it and you can be like in me, just like One South Bank, starting at that kind of adverse time, right. then you can only get better and stronger over time. Would you agree with that? I would, and you know, it's a great time to build a house because building supplies are down. Uh, we have a plethora of lots that are available. You know, there's some good contractors that are out there. You know, we're not on the beach, but we're close to the beach. Um, you can freshwater fish, you can bay fish, you can saltwater fish, you can be on Lake Seminole or Lake Eufaula in just a little bit. You know, we have recreation like this uh, Hard Labor Creek, and uh, we have a lot of things to do in our community. and. Uh, uh, it's an opportunity, like you say, for businesses to come in and, and look, and uh, the future looks bright for us. Well, Ted's got a beautiful place here, and hopefully we're gonna be able to uh, share a few words with him before we leave as well. Um, what's not to like about this? Now, you've had a few cold years. Mm -hmm. I know you've had a couple years that have been kind of wet. Mm -hmm. uh, this is perfect uh, for, from what my perspective. It's been a little cool in the morning. You might need a jacket but by midday. It's just a, a shirt and a, a good, Good time out here, good weather, a little bit of breeze, but that's fine. The dogs work good in the breeze, and uh, it's a great year just with the weather to be here. Well, you wouldn't want to sit around the fire pit eating oysters if it was 95 <laughs> degrees. That's right. Well, Andy, thanks for taking the time. More importantly, thanks for One South's uh, involvement, commitment to the community. Uh, we appreciate all you do. Let's show this check one more time. $42,500, the Brad Drake uh, wild game hunt here at uh, Hard Labor Creek uh, Quail Plantation. Hard Labor Creek uh, offers uh, the shooting sports. They offer a quail plantation and now a new off-road park. Not new anymore, kind of like me saying One South is right. new. Uh, the off-road park having been open now for uh, at least a couple of years, and hopefully we'll be able to get some more clarification about that from Ted when we talk to him. Here at Hard Labor Creek Quail Plantation right now in Chipley, Florida for the Brad Drake Wild Game Hunt. Uh, having a ball here with Andy Fleener from One South Bank. We'll be right back.